So Honeypop 2 just came out recently, and there's a lot of questions on a lot of people's minds, but the most prevalent ones are, is Honeypop 2 a good game? Yes. Is it better than Honeypop 1? Yes. And there's a lot of reasons why. There's a lot of reasons why Honeypop 2 is a much, much better game than Honeypop 1. It's, it's very... Uh, it has a lot of improvements over its first iteration. Like, it's, it's insane how much they improved on an already very good system. And, um... Flushed out to be even more complex, more engaging, and, uh, more sexually arousing. Um, I guess I'll go one by one. I think, I think the art's very quick to go over. The art's very, it's, it's very, very... I'll go with the art. The art's very nice. The art is, is drastically improved, I think, over Honey Pop 1. Just the... I've already talked about this before, so I won't go too in too much detail, but a lot of the girls look a lot softer, a lot curvier, a lot more... Um, a lot less anime style, and a lot more unique, like, individual Honey Pop style. Uh, if that makes any sense. They just look very soft. Like, I want to hug them. I want to, like, they, I, I could grab them out of the screen and shove my face into their kneecaps. And then give them a little suckle. Um, the music, same same composer, high quality music, same as always. Um, but there's two big big deals that people want to talk about. It's the girls and the puzzles. Start with the puzzles. Puzzles, fantastic. I really like the new system they have. There's a lot more depth and variety to it than before. Before you could just match tokens willy nilly. That's all that mattered was matching tokens. You just like, oh, the girl likes sexuality, sexuality token, sexuality token, sexuality match, sexuality match, red, 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 that's, that'd be it. You just, you just match non-stop, it's like, oh, I have a fucking bear, here's a sentiment, go, go get it, you know? But now, because you have a stamina meter, you can't just go for fat matches 24-7. If you set them up, you can't just, like, set up matches and then go for them either. Like, if you set up a match of five, the, the amount of stamina that will be used in setting up that match will, um inevitably make it so that if you if you make that match of five it'll drain the girl of her stamina and if both girls get drained of their stamina you lose there's two lose cons in this scenario running out of moves and running out of stamina and uh moves was 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 is pretty self-explanatory but stamina is a lot different because if you run out of stamina then you can't make a lot of moves you know you can't set up you can't make big matches without stamina so that's why, it's, so you have to like balance between both of the girls maintaining both of their staminas for different purposes. Um, that's not even going into like, and then date gifts just, it just amplify this even more with like, date gifts, do you want a date gift that amplifies your stamina, that refills it? Or do you want a date gift that gets rid of broken heart tokens? Or do you want a date gift that like, freaking <laughs> gives you more joy tokens? I haven't seen all the date gifts yet. <laughs> They're not random, by the way. You can actually buy, you can actually choose what date gifts you want from a pre-selected pool, which is really nice. I like that. Because before, you just get one at random. It's like, oh, maybe it's useless. Maybe it's not. I don't know. And, um, that's nice. Um, by the way, this video isn't scripted. I, I don't want to edit it. I don't want to put, this is just a first impressions video. I'm obviously not going to put a lot of thought into, <laughs> thought into it. Uh... Yeah, so like if I if like I I, I went to Honey Pop 2 doing my usual thing where I would set up fatty five matches and like get a bunch of passion tokens. I'd match a bunch of passion tokens. By the way, passion only affects one girl, so if you match passion tokens, that only goes to the one girl. So you have to decide you have to like make sure both girls are topped up on passion before you do any fat matches. Which takes up more stamina, which takes up more moves, so you have to be more careful about which tokens you match, because every match counts. Um Anyway, once you, once you do that, you're you're gonna be low on stamina, so you have to switch to the other girl and do things with her. And then when you when you're and then you you set up matches with the other girl, and then you go to your to your main girl, and then you'll do big matches of five, and it's really cool, and it feels satisfying because you had to put a lot more thought into it, into like how you would set this up before it'd just be like set up match, set up match, set up match. But now you have to think about it. And if you make bro before broken broken hearts didn't do anything. They did they did jack shit. You didn't really broken hearts were who cares right like especially back in the day the strategy used to be like at the start of a match just get rid of all the broken heart tokens to set shit up no one cares but now it gets rid of stamina and as we said before if you get rid of stamina you lose so it's a lot more complex i haven't even gone into the baggage system yet the baggage system so far has been really great 
Uh, Nora's, Nora's was the first one I ran into where it spawns more broken heart tokens on the grid for both girls because they share the same grid. But Nora is immune to broken heart matches. So although it makes the, the life for one girl harder, it makes, when you're matching with her, it makes the life of another girl easier because you don't have to worry about broken heart matches and you can set up easier with her. But that's only one baggage system. So the baggage system, there's they have three slots each. And there's a... <laughs> There's a lot of modifiers that are going on at play here. There's a lot to think about. It's not just match, 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 match. You have to be like, okay, do I match stamina? Because I'm running low on stamina. Can I set up a stamina match? Do I have enough stamina to set up a stamina match? Can I afford to make the sentiment match now? Like, joy tokens used to be just like, oh yeah, just match joy tokens, who cares? But now it's like, do I have enough stamina to match this joy token and also set up the match I've been wanting to make for, um, for, like, the past five turns? You know, will I run out? Because if you run out, that is, oh, that is a hard sell. I I am like three dates in, and I almost lost because I was not respecting the stamina meter. The stamina meter is insane in how much it makes you think about your matches, and I like that a lot. I feel like the system has been vastly improved without compromising the original intent of, um... Without compromising the original identity of the, of the puzzle system from the first game. It's still the same puzzle system from the first game, just with a lot of new mechanics added to it, and I like that. It's not a completely different... It's not a completely different puzzle system. You know, you still... It's it's a lot... There's a lot of thought put into it. It's not bejeweled. It's not anything like that. If anyone compares this to Candy Crush, I'm gonna find out where they live and choke them in their sleep while their parents watch Tied Up. Because, god damn it, is this puzzle... This puzzle system is fantastic. It is much better than any other match 3 game out there that I can think of. And I like match 3 games, so that's saying something. Um, that being said, I am I am not that far into the game yet. So maybe the puzzle system ends up being really lame late game. Maybe, probably not, but maybe it will. I don't see that happening, but it's a possibility. I'll, I'll, do, a, I'll do an actual review of the game when I'm finished. Um, the girls. The girls themselves also... They interact a lot more with each other, which already is something I... It is a god gift from heaven that they interact with each other more. But in previous game, they would interact with each other in the first scene, and that was it. They would never talk to each other again. They would never have those acute interactions with each other in the first bit of the game. Like, you, you know when you, you know when you meet, uh, when you meet, uh, Aiko and Belly, and they have a cute talk, and like, oh, these two are into each other, they have, like, a relationship here, they, they're friends. I like their conversations with each other, and then, and then you just never see them again. This game does not do that. Different girls have different relationships with each other. There's different pairs. It's not like not like Jesse and Lilani. It's not like they talk to each other more than once at the intro. They talk to each other at the end of dates. They talk to each other. Um, when you're talking to one girl, another girl will chime in and say what they think about what the first girl said. If that makes any sense. Uh, there's a lot more interactions between the girls, each individual girl, and I adore that so much. You have no idea. That was my main complaint from the first game. And it's not like it's not like Jesse and Lilani. It's not like those are the. It's not like Jesse and Lilani is the only pair that they are in. Like like Jesse is also friends with Lola, and like Lilani is also friends with, uh, I believe Nora. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm running on steam here. So the girls have various interactions with each other. Ashley likes Ashley and Lilani are together. Um, there's a lot of like I haven't even seen all the girls yet. <laughs> I've been so invested in a few of these pairs because I just want to see more of them talking. I haven't met all the girls yet. I'm trying to I'm trying to level them up all equally. Um, the designs are very fantastic. As I said, the art style is great. They have very nice outfits. You unlock the outfit and the hairstyle at once, so there's no issue there where you. Unlock the hairstyle, you're like, ah, oh, where's the outfit of the hairstyle? I'm gonna look so tacky. No, you just unlock them immediately when you finish a date with them. And they have the hairstyle and the outfit, and you're like, I you just get it. It's great. The story is, um, has plot. There's plot. The, the lines, I have laughed out loud a lot at these lines. Maybe I'm just biased. But the girls have some very good lines, especially Kiyu. Kiyu is my homie in this game. Me and her connect on so many levels, it is insane. She says a lot of very sexually charged things. She makes a lot of very funny jokes. Um, a lot of the girls have very defined personalities that mesh well with their pairs. They have um, the mat the which girls match with who. It's it's very intentional. It wasn't picked at random. Jesse and the Lonnie are matched because Jesse is this mature, experienced girl, while Lonnie is this innocent, you know, 
young, fresh blood, and they, they pair really well with each other. Um... <laughs> Overall, it's like, there's so much in Honey Pop 2 compared to Honey Pop 1. I, I can't go into it all. Like, the, the, uh, the, the gift system has been completely reworked. The way you level up has completely been reworked. Um... It's just all very fantastic. And a lot of problems that were in Honey Pop 1 are just not present in Honey Pop 2. That's like the that's like the most important thing. Anything bad about Honey Pop 1 has been rectified. And anything um and all the good stuff about Honey Pop 2 has been amplified. Honey Pop 2 is Honey Pop 1, but a lot better, I think. I don't think anyone can look at Honey Pop 2's gameplay or girls. And be like, yeah, Honey Pop 1 did it a lot better. Especially the gameplay. People can... I, if anyone says Honey Pop 1's gameplay is better than 2, I'm gonna punch them in the goddamn throat. <sighs> because I'm, I'm a monkey and violence is the only way I can answer things. Yeah. I just really like Honey Pop 2. It, it, so far, it has been very good. I'm... The plan... Now, last, I want to talk about my plan for a Honey Pop 2 Let's Play. Um, I hate Let's Plays. I do not like having a playlist of, like, 20 parts... You know? Some people can do it really well. Chugga Conroy can do it really well. Some people can do Let's Plays very fantastic. I cannot. There's a lot of empty space with me in Let's Plays. I can't be constantly talking over and over again. I stop to listen to what the girls are saying. I I, I don't always have interesting stuff to say. So for our Let's Play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one video. But it is going to be a long video with my experience throughout the entire game. I'm going to... Edit, I'm going to make a proper editing highlight video of me playing through the whole game. And this is me by myself, so I'm not streaming it because I want to enjoy it at my own pace. Which involves me not just playing through the next, like, three days, like, oh, I gotta get the video out. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the video out, so, 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 uh... No. I'm not going to just power through the game in three days and then make a video the fourth day, you know? This will take time to come out. Because at the end of the day, I just want to enjoy my time with this game. I've been waiting for a while. I've been doing other stuff, obviously. I haven't been just in my room being like day number one, day number two, day number three. I've been, I, I, you know, but you know what I mean. I've been looking forward to it coming out and I want to enjoy my time with it. If that gets me less views because I'm not uh, pumping out a Let's Play every single day for people to like give me 10 hours of watch time of just me doing nothing in front of the screen, then so be it. But I want to make this, um, I want to make my Let's Play video something that will last that people can look back on years from now and just be like this is a good video not like a 20 part let's play series that are like man i could just watch thousands of other people play honey pop 2 if i wanted to see a generic boring let's play <laughs> so that's it this video wasn't scripted this video that doesn't have a lot of effort into it because I just want to get my first thoughts out immediately. Because if I didn't, people would be like, oh, are you going to do Let's Play Honey Pop 2? Oh, watch the last Honey Pop 2. Yo, bro, Honey Pop 2 is out. Fair enough. I understand why they're doing that, but I just want this video out to just quell those thoughts, tell you what I immediately think of the game. And that's it. <laughs> a proper Honey Pop 2 Let's Play will be out, and then after that, I'll make a review, and then after that, God knows what. There's a lot of content in this game. And I, um... I'm really happy with it. And I hope I will continue to be really happy with it. Anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs>